Welcome to this weekly drawing video in your sketchbook. Uh, I'm gonna try to walk you through a couple things that will hopefully help you as you look to become a better artist at observational drawing. So the first thing I want you to note is angles and measuring. So when you're looking at this, if I hold this out, this is going to be like an X and a Y axis. So if I'm measuring and drawing something, sometimes I need to figure out what angle is that object in space. It's hard to figure out observational drawing, so that's a tool I use to say like, okay, so that's about, you know, at a, you know, 15, 20 degree angle. So what I'm gonna show you here is on this um, that you're going to be trying to draw today, the angle I want you to measure is if you hold up this and it, as your X axis, then you're kind of going to figure out that angle measurement and then you're going to apply that to your drawing. So I'm just gonna kinda, you know, basically here's like where that straight line is. And the angle of that seems about like this. Okay, now the measuring element of it. When you're measuring, oftentimes I'm thinking from the point of my thumb to the end of the pencil. So if I'm measuring out and I hold my arm at the same place, I can kind of measure from the top of my thumb to the end of the pencil to figure out how big things are. So in this drawing, you're going to be measuring how big the top bar that's at an angle is in comparison to the vertical bar that's going up and down. So if I go over here and I measure from my thumb to that, that is like one, two, two and a half. So this bar right here has about two and a half um, up and down for that vertical axis. So this would be in relation to this. Let's see, you know, if you're measuring again about two and a half from what this is, so one, two and a half. I'm gonna make that line once I'm a little more confident in it, make it a little bit bigger. And then we're gonna throw in at the bottom. And then you have a couple other elements that I want you to think about. So looking at the picture for different shapes. So in this picture, I think of this as kind of like a right triangle or whatever it may be. Um, because you can see at the top here, this goes over and makes a triangle shape. And then inside of that, you actually have a triangle, again, right here, and figuring out how big that triangle is. And then you're going to start adding in a little bit more detail of throwing in some of those circular elements that make it so that the cord goes together. That cord's gonna go down up here. It hangs on that light. So now you kind of have the basic shape. Now as I'm looking, you know, you have the cord that, like this thing's maybe out a little further, and then it kind of comes down and around. But as you're kind of piecing this together, it looks like, you know, as I noticed, maybe this is a little too small in my drawing. You're going to kind of adjust. But that is the basic idea of using shapes and using them in such a way that you can have it be a tool to have you get better at drawing. So again, from the thumb to the point, and then using your angles to figure out what does that shape look like on my actual paper. I hope you uh, enjoy this process. This specific drawing has given me um, a good amount of understanding of where students are, and usually students can figure this out. If they take their time, they're patient, they measure, and they look observationally, they look as much as they're drawing. And if you feel really comfortable with the first one, if you wanna challenge yourself, I put that next image up there. That one's gonna be a trickier with the angles and the details. Um, so you got two options here, again, in your sketchbook. Document it after you've finished your drawing and turning that into your slideshow. Good luck.